How's it going, guys? Um, it's been a while. I think it's been about a month or so, right? Um, so, I don't know how to start this other than saying I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, it's, been, it's been very hectic the past, I'd say, year or so. It's been very hectic for me. So... For you guys who do not follow me on any other social media like Twitter or Instagram, uh, I posted oh, uh, two weeks ago, I think, that I'm quitting YouTube. And that's why you haven't been seeing any videos. Now, hold up, because I've been thinking about it for a while now. I've been, you know, going out, getting my, my, my head cleared and everything. And. For this video, I just wanted to talk to you guys about a couple things, about what's going on with this channel, what's going on in, in my life, for those if um, for those of you guys care about that. Um, but but aside, aside if you do care or not, my personal life is affecting you know this and stuff. So we'll talk about everything, and then you guys can comment down whatever you want, any feedback or anything. You guys, you can ask me questions, I'll answer questions, anything. But basically. Let's get to it. So, um, let's start from the beginning. So, I started my channel about, um, what was it, seven years ago? Back in 2011, I think? 2012? Something like that. I think 2011. Yeah, July 2011. Yeah. So, seven years ago, I started my YouTube channel. Um, and it was because a, a couple of YouTubers sort of inspired me to do it. Um, and those being uh, Timarn Allier. We'll talk about him later. And um, this guy named iReaps. So if you guys don't know who those three are, or you do know some of them, or one out of three, it doesn't matter. Those three inspired me. And then from then on out, I decided to be a little bit different, go mobile gaming. So it's been seven years since then. And what has been going on? It's been very hectic. Okay, there's been so much. I've gone through every Modern Combat game. I've gone through just a ton of Game Off games, a ton of other games. Uh, just just it's mobile has been just skyrocketing, you know from I remember I had like a little Canon camera Recording on my mom's my mom's iPad first generation, all right My first ever device like mobile device. I think was an iPod touch first generation, but my first phone was a flip phone But my first iPhone was a 3GS anyways long long ago And now games are becoming way 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 bigger and there's so many more games now And if you guys can tell or if you guys have noticed which I'm sure you guys have the past few years my channel has been blowing up, not with views or anything, but blowing up with games. I've been putting like, there's at least maybe 10 or 12 games on my channel. Uh, some of them are regular, you know, games. And that's not good. Some channels it's good if you're doing like compilations and stuff like that. But I noticed when, when I do it, you know, with so many of these games, there's so many, um, there's so many fan bases in each of these games and mixing them together it splits my viewer base so if i post modern combat you know i'll have people say where's bullet force i subscribe for bullet force then i'll have you know this other game where's this other game you know so it's it's a back and forth thing and it doesn't make people at all happy and i know you can't make everyone happy um i try to do the videos that i want to you know i have fun making and what i have fun making like when modern combat versus got an update i played that non-stop for like a week or two and then i went back to bullet force because I finished with the content, like the content was done, it wasn't that long lasting, and then Bull Force, and then, you know, so I, I would go back and forth to different games, Fortnite, so it, it's been very hectic with the whole s splitting, you know, my viewer base and everything, and aside from that, I did take like, I think a, a couple months off due to some health concerns, and people thought I was dead, people, you know, didn't know I was still there, so I do have still subscribers that are like, no idea I exist, apparently, so it's very bad to do that. It's very bad to you have to be consistent on YouTube I learned that you have to be consistent if you don't you will lose people people will be confused It's just not good. So I mean some people do it once a week some people do it a couple times a week You know there's schedules and stuff. I cannot do schedules, but anyways or Anyways, anyways What I'm trying to say is it's been very hectic in the past I'd say two or three years. It's been very slow now, I, I've had times where I skyrocket views, I skyrocket subs, and I've told you guys, to me, it's not about the numbers. Um, really, I make videos because it's fun. Like, I get money from YouTube, yes, but guys, I'm telling you right now, it's nothing. I can get more at McDonald's, okay? It's nothing. You know, literally, I use that 
barely any money for gas <laughs> and food every now and then. So it's literally nothing. But basically, it just my views and subs have been just going so so slowly. While I won't name anyone, but I know people personally and people I don't know personally that have just skyrocketed from like zero or a hundred to like. Uh, 200,000 in like a month and it's like to me like I, I realized after this many years it's a lot of it is 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 you know if your content's good of course as well as luck it's literally it's a lot of luck because you know the more videos you put out there the more it's shown but the more likes on a video the more it shows in the search engine so and there's so many videos out there now over the years it's just it's just hard to find that person you know um and I have, I'm pretty sure I, I, I checked with like a friend of mine before. I have like two to three times more videos uploaded than him. And he's just skyrocketing. It's good for him. I'm not like hating or anything. Like great for him. Um, but it's just like, it, it kind of makes me feel sucky. You know, like something's not right. And I do feel like it's something to do with, uh, I guess, the amount of games I was doing. I wasn't consistent. I wasn't only doing a game or two. You know, it was like three to like six games at a time, you know. So it really... Because I like so many games, it's just, it's just, it's going crazy. So, anyways, I'm kind of just going through kind of a rant right now. Um, but basically, what's going on with the channel? So, I've been thinking, and I do want to come back, and the main reason is because, um, well, okay, sorry, let me go back. Why did I leave? Why did I decide to quit? Because, a couple things. First, school has been just an annoying pain in my butt. Honestly, I have very bad teachers. No offense to them. Um, so I'm basically teaching myself, um, and I am doing full-time, full-time is four classes, which is some amount of credit hours, um, and so I'm doing that, um, my dog, if you guys do not know, I love my dog to death, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know, she's all over there, she recently passed away, um, due to having some health issues, and so that was very depressing for me, I loved her to death, and then... Uh, me and my girlfriend actually broke up, which broke me. Uh, I've had many girlfriends in my life, but this one absolutely just destroyed me. And now, I mean, it's all better. We got back together and it's been great. We're, you know, we're looking to have a future together and it's, it's going fantastic. So things are coming back, you know, to set in my life. Um, but the reason I'm coming back is because if you guys haven't known, Tencent Games uh, is a company that makes clone games i guess you'd say you could say that they're old they're the old game loft uh or the new game loft i should say basically they make games like whenever there's a battle royale game they they they, they somehow they get a team to like make a battle royale, and they make a battle royale game in a week it's crazy but now activision or apparently there was a game i forgot the name of it that was going that was going to be a call of duty type counter-strike game and then i think tencent games got them or activision got them or something and then got tencent games to take that game's code and build upon it and make call of duty for mobile i think that's how it worked um but basically tencent took that game and now updated it to be to be a cod game and it's now an alpha build right now for android it is coming to um, ios i don't know it, it says only china i think for now but i'm pretty sure the people they're they're gonna find ways and i'm pretty sure if it's popular enough it's going to come you know into the us and stuff so I saw that game and it's incredible. And if you guys don't know, I am a huge Call of Duty player. I play Black Ops 4 on my PlayStation 4 and I love it. I played Call of Duty since the beginning. So that is, it's 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 kind of like, okay. Like as soon as I saw it, I was like, okay, I need to come back. <laughs> that and Fortnite, you know, games are getting better now. And I've decided to take it a little bit easy this time around. So there are, there are some things that I need to do. One is I need to... Put things aside for good and focus on a few things, which that being like two games on my channel and that's it regular. Other games may be cool. I can play them on the side, but putting them on the channel, with just splitting up the viewer base, I don't think it's a good idea. So when I do come back, which I don't know when, guys, I'll tell you guys that, that about that in a second. Um, when I do come back, it is going to be different. I'm not just going to do only live comms. I'll be doing some other stuff, but I want it. I want it to be right, and I want it to do with the games I want, and first of all, I mean, Fortnite, I feel like I'm still going to be doing that. Um, Call of Duty Mobile, when it comes out, probably going to be doing that, but Modern Combat, I might be leaving it. I know, I know there's a new Battle Royale mode for MC5, 
Uh, I've known that for a while now and I've seen it, but I think it's time for me to push that out because there are all these other games coming out and it's just I cannot split my time with all these games. Bullet Force has been great for um, the coming years. It's been a great game. I helped work on it. If you guys do not know, some people actually don't know I actually worked on the game, which kind of frustrates me because I feel like there should be some sort of credits where it shows who developed what. So if you guys don't know, in Bullet Force, all the perk names, all the perks, all the kill streaks, um, I wrote them down, I came up with it, and I gave it to Lucas and he put it in the game. So just so you know, I'm part of that development type thing. But anyways, so that's been kind of kind of off my radar for now. Um, I have been working on a montage for that. Like I, I have all the clips on my computer, so I'll probably make that a final goodbye to that game when I do come back. But I think for now I'm done with that. So it might for now just be Fortnite in this new Call of Duty game. I don't know yet. We'll see. But that's kind of what I'm looking at. I'm, I'm kind of curious what you guys think about that. So let me know in the comments. But the last thing I want to talk about is just when am I coming back? Now... I do not know. I, right now, do not have an iPad. I do not have an Elgato. And the reason for that is I sold them because I was quitting. I needed the money. Guys, I'm a college student. I, it's freaking hard. I, I, I have to pay for these like online classes. Like my mom, my, like my parents pay my tuition, which I'm very thankful for. Um, I get free housing. I'm in the house. Um, but in terms of books, what I need, I, some, I saw, you know, I, I buy some online and then there's all these like, like, if you join, like, a history class, you have to pay for this homework website thing. Anyways, so that with gas and food, just, just, I don't have any money. Right now, if I'm going to be honest with you guys, my bank account, I have, like, $40. Not going to lie. So, I don't have a job now. I used to have a job. I used to work with kids. Now I don't. I'm actually job hunting. I've, I've applied to at least 10 jobs already. And this one job came up to me. Um, they came back to me. One job finally came back to me, and I messaged them back. So, we'll see about that. But right now, I do not have an iPad. Um, there's either two options I can do. One, I could, you guys just could kind of wait. Um, I don't have anything to record. I don't have an iPad. Um, so either you guys wait for me until I save up to somehow get it. And the new iPad, there's actually a new iPad that's going to be announced actually next week. So I really want to get that. But I do not have money. Uh, my birthday is also coming up, but... <laughs> I'm, I'm not the type of guy to get an iPad for my birthday. <laughs> so, um, that's not happening. So, that option is there where I work, uh, I get a new job, which I don't know when, and I work with school and see what happens and just wait until I get the money. Or I might just start a GoFundMe page and put it down in the description if you guys would like. It is not no force or anything. It's completely optional if you guys would like. That would just be most likely a faster process, but I'll put it down just in case. Um, just if you guys wanted to do that to help me out with the iPad. But aside from that, guys, the next couple weeks is just going to be, um, it's just going to be me doing homework. Like right after this video, I'm actually going to do homework. I have my computer still. I have a monitor, um, everything like everything's still good. Uh, I'm going to be working on school, finding a job. I'm still finding a job regardless. Um, cause I do want one to keep myself busy. Uh, I'm going every week or two to see my girlfriend who is about an hour and a half away, two hours. Um, so I spend time with her um, and she's also finding a job. She's working on a job. So it, it, everything's coming together slowly, guys. But that's just kind of how it is right now. It's a little bit hectic. I know uh, my life's been very strange lately, but I really do want to come back. I want to see how this COD Mobile goes. Fortnite, apparently the touch bug has been fixed. Uh, Monica versus I saw was getting updates. I think it's a bit too late, man. I've said many, many times about that game, what needs to be fixed. If you guys would like, I could post a video about that, about what's wrong with game off games right now. Um, cause I don't know. Monica versus just, it's, it's a little bit too late, um, for what they did. Cause the fact that you can change the stats by upgrading your agent, like stat wise, I was told a while back that they would change that at some point to just be a static number and you're not able to change it, but no. So it's a little bit too late. Uh, MC5, they have pedal rail mode, don't know how that's going to work. But I think it's time to settle to put that on the side. But anyways, guys, that's basically it. It's good seeing you guys again, or talking to you guys again. Um, you guys can ask me any questions, anything. Um, if you guys do not follow me on Twitter or Instagram, you guys don't even have one of those, I would recommend Twitter. 
get Twitter, follow me, put notifications so you guys get notifications whenever I tweet. And there I usually update you guys on my channel or what's going on with my life or if I, you know, post something interesting or whatever. But uh, Instagram is more private. It's more my personal life. So you guys can do that. Go ahead and check the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. It is uh, somehow good to be back. I don't know when my next video will be, but uh, we'll see. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.